Inspiration comes from a lot of places. In Chicago, the Cloud Gate sculpture is a place for dreaming. Tourists and locals alike love to gaze into its depths, see the reflection of the city and their own, and dream about more to come. Which is why making the bean is so symbolic of everything the French Pastry School of Kennedy King College at City Colleges of Chicago and its For the Love of Chocolate Foundation stand for. Thanks to Jelly Belly Candy Company and its new dark chocolate covered jelly bean chocolate dips, this event is shaping up to be a dream come true. Jelly Belly's been making jelly bean art for a couple of decades now, but they've always been two-dimensional portraits, like we have the Mona Lisa and Elvis Presley in, in Jelly Belly Beans, but we've never done anything three-dimensional, and this is such a remarkable accomplishment. It is just amazing. And the kids from After School Matters have really done a remarkable job. They are pros. They're just professionals. They did a really great job. I'm so impressed. How many Jelly Belly Beans did you eat? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> I have tried every single one of them so far, even to down to birthday cake, to lemon, to 7-Up, Orange Crush. <laughs> They're all pretty good. Actually, a lot of it changed from the first day. Like, we were told, like, on the, it was just going to have the French pastry logo and our logo and then the skyline. Then it, it turned into Jelly Belly being on it. It was, I thought it was amazing. Like, and then when I saw how big this was, I was in shock. It was, it was crazy. Like, it's huge. Like, I didn't expect it to be this big. I'm glad I'm in, like, joined in this. Sculptured um, the skyline, and every single individual jelly bean has its own flavor. Some of them are multicolored because they have blends of flavors. So it's just like, I don't know, it's been a main experience because we wanted to base it off of our uh, jelly bean in uh, Millennium Park. That's the jelly bean that we got inspired by, so we decided to do our own little jelly bean in the experiment. It's very meticulous to put on one bean at a time, and we think they've put on well over 120,000 beans. It takes a lot of time, and you just work on a little, like a puzzle. You work on a little piece at a time, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and of course, many hands makes the work easier. It was immense. And it was a challenge beyond challenges, not only for myself, but for all of the students and community members that took up the call and came out to help. I learned, again, I, I reach back to my childhood and my bringing up that I was always taught, get out there, work hard, and if you work hard, you can accomplish your goals, and people are going to give back to you, and you can just move forward more and more. I learned to be patient, really patient with this. You know, sometimes you have your jelly beans, you put them on, and then chocolate dries and falls off. But you still have to just be patient with it. Teamwork, working with a team, it's, it's a lot. I tried working on it by myself one time. It doesn't work. You need someone else. And, like, it teaches us how much of a whole we are. Like, we're one big family working on this, so it's great. While the final jelly beans are placed, the Merchandise Mart in downtown Chicago is booming with French pastry school students business people and volunteers, all setting up for the main event, which is now just hours away. Exhibit tables go up. The runway is set up complete with stage lighting for the fabulous fashion show with chocolate dresses, accessories, and other tasty items on display. Each section of the exhibit floor has its own theme, drawing the ticket holders into the unexpected, the scientific, even the absurd. Preparations continue, with hair, makeup, and fittings taking center stage before the doors are thrown open. Chocolate pieces are put into place and a few practice steps are taken down the runway. Meanwhile, a few of the stars of the pastry world come out, ready to do their own giving back. 
I'm very close with the guys, the chefs at the French Pastry School. I mean, uh, Jackie and Sebastian, I've some, there are two chefs I've looked up to all my life. And, uh, you know, people that I've, I've been a mentor from afar, you know, for me. And uh, when they called me and said, hey, we're doing this event, the last couple of years, I haven't been able to do it. I've been, you know, so busy at the restaurants, but now I'm finally out of the restaurant and I have a little free time. And I really want to kind of catch up with, with friends like this and do more and more charity work. And, and it's, it's special, you know, it, it's a great cause. It essentially, like, you know, it's getting kids off the street. Like, I grew up in the country, so, but still, the kitchen got me, kept me out of trouble as well. So I understand the concept of it. I understand the fact that, you know, you're getting money for scholarship for, for kids that need it. They, they wouldn't be able to have it otherwise. And essentially, I, you know, I got a young scholarship as well, and that's what got me into culinary school as well. So it, it's close to the heart for me. And there are still jelly beans to put into place. Three steps. There we go. Oh, oh la, 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 la. Oh, okay. oh. chocolate on my bean. Yeah, oh, he did. All right. Uh, one. The final Jelly Belly Jelly Beans are added by representatives of the French Pastry School and Jelly Belly Candy Company. With the final bean put in place by the teacher who shared the dream, enough to engage her students in something that made a difference. I'm overwhelmed with it. I am absolutely ecstatic with it. Because, I mean, I knew we were gonna get it done. That was my, I just, when I take on a project, it's gonna get done. But it, in its magnitude and coloring and everybody coming together, more than I could possibly imagine. It started with a dream. It took shape on note paper. It took one jelly bean to get things rolling. In our final segment, you'll see how it all comes together in one of the world's largest buildings, including interviews with some of the top pastry chefs in the world who are lending their support to the For the Love of Chocolate Foundation. <laughs>